So my mom was diagnosed with breast cancer today. And I literally have spent the entire day crying over it. And I have absolutely no more tears to, like, leave my tears. Like, I literally have no tears. And you know what's funny is I got the news right after I got my eyelashes done. And in the instructions, they were saying, like, you can't cry because it's going to ruin your eyelashes. So I basically, like, the minute after I got my eyelashes done, I got the news. And then I just couldn't stop crying. But... Yeah, it's weird because my mom went for a regular checkup because she's going to go to China and she goes every year and so she wanted to get a checkup and they discovered it in her breast, um, like cancerous tissues or I'm not exactly sure, um, you know, what it is exactly, but it's just, it's so weird because it's so common apparently, like a lot of people get breast cancer. And you hear about it, but you just think it can never happen to you. My mom is literally, like, the healthiest person I've ever known. I've never seen her sick once in my life. I've seen her cry one time in my entire life. Like, I've, I've, she's, like, the strongest person I know. And she just – she never eats junk food. Like, she always eats super clean, lots of veggies. She works out, like, two hours every single day, like, the healthiest person. I always feel like it happens to people who are, like, super healthy, you know. Um, but I think what's so hard about it – is someone who is um, so close to you and someone who seems like such a strong person is now so vulnerable. And I think, I think that's the hardest part about it, you know, is to kind of, realize and understand that your parents who um, you have looked up to for so long and who's kind of been there and you know someone who you considered a role model and is just like in your eyes like a superhuman and to see them you know have to go undergo something so um undergo something where they're just in a very vulnerable position and you just, I guess you don't want to see them, you know, in pain or hurt. So I think that's the hardest part about it. And it's also just between me and my dad, like, we're not really telling anyone. Um, and we're not telling anything to my brother because it's just like, you know, you know, he's just so young and he, you know, he's just so young. And there's no reason for him to know at this point. But it's just, it's weird because your family, you have like a lot of issues, right? And you have a lot of fights and disagreements. But when something like this happens, you realize they're still your family. And at the end of the day, it's like, it's like, um, it's like, this is all, this is all who cares about you. Like, this is all. These are the people who care about you, and, like, that's all you have in this world, really, you know? And so, that's, um, something I have learned. Um, Yeah, I guess it's just, like, scary imagining my mom being sick and in a vulnerable position. Because she's, like, never been that way. She's, like, the most feisty person you've ever met. So, that image is really, really, like, it makes me really upset. And I think that's kind of the upsetting part of it. But um, I hope a lesson to take away from this is everyone should go out right now and ask their mom their sister their aunt teacher whatever to get a mammogram to go for their checkup and just make sure everything's okay and it just like even me I am so bad with this stuff like I hate doing like routine admin stuff like it's like my worst like thing I like don't like doing it but like come on you owe it to not just yourself but everyone who loves you to go in there and make sure everything's okay 
and make sure that, you know, just for a peace of mind. And I think Taylor Swift, she asked her mom to get a routine inspection or a checkup done. And uh, her mom um, then got found out she had breast cancer, right? But it's just, you owe it to the people who you love or love you to figure that kind of stuff out. So that's just all I, I'm going to say is you owe it to other people to do it. Um, so anyways, thank you all so much. And I will um, keep you guys updated. I hope there's really no more updates in it. But I literally have not cried so much in like years. I can't remember the last time I've cried so much. Maybe when my first boyfriend broke up with me. But my head, I'm surprised I don't have a migraine. I used to get migraines when I cried a lot. But um, my head is like literally like mush because of all the, the endorphins I think you release when you cry. So, yeah.